I'll be Jane Seriano from BSTM 22B and I will be reciting the Spanish alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. Let's sing the Spanish alphabet. One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, E. M N N O P Q R S T U B W X Y Z. Now let's proceed to our next topic: rules on gender of nouns. All Spanish nouns, including people, places, animals, things, ideas, and feelings, have a gender, male or female. The fact that inanimated objects have a gender in Spanish does not mean that things like tables and books are physically feminine or masculine. They have genders in a grammatical sense and must be used with articles and adjectives that match their gender. There are a few general rules you can follow to determine if a noun is feminine or masculine. Masculine nouns. Most masculine nouns end in O. An O ending can indicate that a person or animal is male or that an object, idea, etc. is grammatically masculine. Masculine nouns that end in O. Examples, El Cartero, El Niño, El Tío, El Teatro, and El Dormitorio. Feminine nouns. Most feminine nouns end in A. Ending in an A indicates that a person or animal is female or that an object, idea, etc. is grammatically feminine. Feminine nouns that end in A. Examples, La Enfermera. La profesora, la hija, la rosa, la guitarra, and la piscina. Gender and adjectives. Spanish adjectives must watch the nouns they describe in both gender and number. For example, apples, manzanas are feminine in Spanish. So this word must be used with feminine articles like la, las, and una. Any adjective used to describe an apple in Spanish must also be feminine. For example, roja. On the other hand, bananas, platanos are masculine and must be used with masculine articles and adjectives. 